guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm really excited to have you here today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a daily cleaning routine. I put one of these out about a year and a half ago and you really seem to enjoy it. So I thought I'd go ahead and do like a new updated version for you guys. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's get straight into today's video. Okay, the very first thing we're gonna do is tidy up my beauty room. As you can see, I don't start my daily cleaning routine until I'm dressed and ready for the day. So I like to give myself like the morning off just to kind of wake up, relax, eat breakfast, do a little workout, get ready, and then I start into my daily cleaning routine. I like to start in this room just because I'm creating the most mess in here, just getting ready between taking a shower, doing my hair and makeup and all the things. I've learned I'm just so much more productive this way versus starting it in my pajamas and then never getting ready for the day. Now we're going to head into my bedroom. The first thing I like to do is clear off my nightstand. I keep a lot of chargers on there, drinks, snacks, whatever I did the night before. So I'm going to get that cleaned up and then I'll make my bed. I think making your bed is so important. It gets you productive for the day and it keeps you out of it. There are very few days that I don't make my bed and every time that I don't, I end up right back in it. You know, I'll go sit down and just start looking at my phone because it's so cozy. I don't know what it is, but your bed is even cozier during the day when you're not supposed to be in it. So I just feel like it's really important to wake up, get dressed and make that bed so you don't want to crawl back in it. And I promise you, you will be so much more productive. Um, another tip is to open up those windows. So I think our bedrooms draw us in because they're like dark and cold and cozy and you just want to snuggle up. So be sure to open up those blinds, let the sun shine in so it's not this place that you just want to crawl in and take a nap. Side note, if you're new here, I do have a few bare walls. I'm out all about like shopping my own home and I haven't figured all the wall spaces out yet and I can't go shopping and buy a few new things. So if you see a few bare walls, I promise it's not always like that. I've just been rearranging and redecorating a few areas. And so I'll work on those when I'm able to. Okay, and the next thing I always do is vacuum our bedrooms. I feel like this is so important just because we have pets and it's just super satisfying. So when you walk past your bedroom and it's bright and airy and your bed's made and there's vacuum lines on the floor, there's something so calming about it. If you have anxiety or you get stressed a lot, I highly suggest you to try this out just for a few days. I promise you, you will feel your mood drop. I feel like all the stuff in our house creates a noise in our heads. And if you don't believe it, definitely try it out. I promise you, you will feel so much better and so much lighter. And that's part of the reason that I clean my house so much is it just makes me feel better and calmer. Another room that I always try to vacuum is my beauty room. I get ready in here with hair and makeup, plus I just feel more productive when I come in here and my room's clean and there's vacuum lines. I can just get so much more work done, which is very important when you work from home. So I'm just learning like waking up and getting myself ready and then getting my workspace ready just creates this more productive environment. And so just doing it a little bit in the morning, just a few chores can set those boundaries. And so when I do have to come in here for work it's all prepped and ready to go Okay, now we're moving on to the next thing, which is to start the laundry. Laundry does look different in my house every single day, but laundry is always a part of my routine every single day. So whether it's I'm starting a load or just have to finish folding it, um, there's always something to do with laundry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my load started here. Um, Savannah will bring me her load when it's ready and Chase will bring me his load when it's ready. And I just wash it and dry it and I will put their baskets back in their room and they put it away. But I will do my laundry and like all the towels and hand towels anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this load started just real quickly mm -hmm. 
So if you're looking for a really simple laundry routine, I feel like an easy one is just to do one load a day. And if you start it in the morning and then you switch it over in the afternoon and then you fold it before bed, it's just a super simple way. It doesn't feel like you're doing laundry all day long, but you're always just doing that one load a day. It really does help like cut down on laundry and you're not spending one whole day doing, you know, the entire house um, loads of laundry. So I feel like that's a super simple one if you wanna try that out. But I am gonna go ahead and sit down real quickly and get all these towels folded so I can go ahead and get them put away. Um, definitely just try out laundry routines. I feel like everybody's different and everybody's system's different. Some of you guys go to work, so you may like start it before you leave for work or while you're getting ready so then it's done and then you can throw it in the dryer when you get home and then fold it right before bed. I know there's so many scenarios and we all have so many different routines, but we all have piles of laundry. So definitely just try doing one load a day and I feel like it really does help out. So once I'm finished folding, I put everything back in the basket and I immediately put it away. Don't set it on your sofa, don't put it on your bed, don't put it on your dining room table. Um, put it away immediately and this saves your list from growing later. So the last thing you wanna do is go lay down on your bed and it's got laundry all on it. Just go ahead and get it done and put it away. I promise you, it just makes your list so much less stressful and easier if you're not adding to it. So if you're gonna start laundry, finish laundry. Don't like start it and then stop, which I know some of us get a little ADD, but definitely focus on that one task and get it done. Okay, now we're gonna move on to cleaning the kitchen. So by this point of the morning, everybody's had breakfast. There's probably dishes in the sink. Um, there's drinks left out. I have notes everywhere. I'm a list maker, so I constantly am writing things down. So I feel like it's important just to kind of get your kitchen ready and prepped for the day. Um, one of the big changes that's really helped me in my kitchen is making sure I have an empty dishwasher for the day. So that can either look like you unload it right before bed or you do it first thing in the morning like while you're eating breakfast but when I don't do this then the dishes just overflow in my kitchen sink it changes my mood I'm stressed I go to load the dishwasher and not everything fits because we had so much in there so just by tweaking a routine just a few small things can definitely just change the way your day functions because now when we have a dirty dish it goes straight into the dishwasher and then when it's full we run it it's so much easier and so much simpler now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my countertops. I do this probably three times a day. I love for them to be nice and shiny. I love the way that it smells. So I'm just constantly cleaning them off and I enjoy it. It calms me. So you'll see me do a lot of cleaning my countertops on this channel. As you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down our island as well. Um, sometimes we eat breakfast up here so it gets some crumbs on it and then sometimes we go over to our dining room table. It just depends if there's only two of us eating, we'll sit down at the bar, but if we're all three eating at the same time, we'll go to the table and that's what we did on this particular morning. So I was just gonna go ahead and just kind of wipe it down real quickly and make sure there weren't any crumbs left on it for the day. Um, my island only holds two bar stools, so that's why I say if it's all three of us, we have to actually go set at the table but now we're gonna go ahead and clean the living room this day's really clean um, I don't keep a lot of stuff in here it's mainly just the furniture pieces I do like to wipe things down in the morning though for lunch we typically set at that coffee table so I like to make sure it's nice and clean for the day and then I feel like over here by our TV just gets dusty so I just take a few seconds to walk in there if I need to fluff the pillows I will I wipe a few things down and then we are good to go Thank you. 
And just like the other bedrooms, when I get done cleaning them, I like to vacuum them. I do that as well in here. So I'm just gonna vacuum my rugs, mainly um, just because we have dogs and George sheds a little bit. So I just like to keep these nice and clean for the day. And it really does not take long at all. I know this video kind of seems long and it may seem like I clean all day, but now that it's part of my routine, I really don't even notice it. Like I work so many hours and we're always going on drives and doing fun activities and I can get all of this done in a day. So once it becomes a routine, you don't even notice it anymore. You just wake up and do it and you kind of start to figure out how long it takes and how to speed things up. Um, so definitely just figure out your routine. Everybody has a routine, even if it's like not cleaning and running late to things. So definitely just be aware of what you're doing every single day and tweak the areas that you need to. So every morning I love to run my robo back. So I mainly let this run on my wood floors. You'll see how I mark it off here in a little bit so it won't go into the bedrooms. I could shut the bedroom doors, but I like our doors open. But I love for this mainly to stay on the wood floor so I don't have to sweep them all day long. And I actually wanted to share with you guys, we're gonna be doing a giveaway on this. So all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and then follow me over on Till Vacuum Do Us Part on Instagram. And then Ashley and Chase Vlogs over on Instagram. I'm gonna have all those links down below in my description box. And then we will announce the winner over on Instagram just because it's easier that way. So definitely read all the rules down below in the description box to enter to win this robo bag. Okay, so the next thing I like to work on daily is just like one extra chore or one bonus area. So typically this is something that just needs to be cleaned weekly. So on this particular day, you can see I'm cleaning our guest bathroom, but this could also look like cleaning all the bedding, like the sheets. It could be cleaning your cabinets in your kitchen, baseboard, filters, just items that don't need to be daily wiped down, but they do need to be touched at least once a week. You can just add this into your daily routine and just change it up every single day and it just kind of keeps everything clean and everything going I just feel like tweaking um, just your little routine a little bit find one chore that takes less than 10 minutes isn't gonna consume your whole day and only clean you know if you only have five minutes only clean that space for five minutes get done whatever you can and at least it keeps it from getting worse so just spend those free little moments when you have a few minutes find something you can get done in that short of time Okay, once the load of laundry finishes, I like to go in and switch it out. So you're gonna see me put all of the wet stuff in the dryer. Typically I'm done for the day, but um, Savannah went ahead and brought me in her laundry. So I will go ahead and get that started. So like I mentioned before, my laundry routine never looks the same every single day, but it is always part of my day. <laughs> so um, some days I have a lot of laundry and then some days I just have to wake up and fold towels. Um, if you have a lot of laundry to do, like like say you do it all in one day. I always save my towels for last because I can wash them and then throw them in the dryer right before bed and they don't wrinkle and so I can just wait and fold them the next day. So that's just another little helpful hint or tip if you're just needing some help with your laundry. Another little tip is I used to do all of our laundry together, but it was just so hard to fold it and then carry all the items to separate rooms. Now that I have it separated where I do all Savannah's, then I know when, even if you still have to fold your child's laundry if they're younger, at least you can go to their room and fold it and put it away immediately in that space. You're not walking it all over the place. Um, so that's been really helpful. When it's Chase's laundry, I put it in his room and he puts it away. If it's going to my bedroom, I put it in my beauty room. I don't know, it just kind of keeps things simple. And as soon as I'm done putting her laundry in, I go ahead and take her laundry basket right back because I'm sure she already has something to put back in it. <laughs> but now this is an afternoon speed clean. I do this every single day. So typically this is when we're gonna leave for like an outing or for lunch or drive right now just to get out of the house. But even if we're not leaving, I like to go ahead and just do a midday tidy up. So just anything that's left out, let's go ahead and put it up. Let's just kind of reset for the afternoon. So that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, so on this particular day, we were leaving. So to leave my house, I always prep it. So I always speed clean it and make sure everything's in its home and nice and tidy. I love coming home to a clean house, but I also have to prep it for the dog. So I fix the blankets, I blow out 
the candles and then I go and shut all the doors. So anytime I leave my house, I always make sure to speed clean it. There's nothing like walking into a clean house. But even if we're not leaving, like I said, I always do a mid-afternoon, like afternoon speed cleaning or afternoon reset just to make sure the house is kind of reset for the rest of the day. We can still play, we can still enjoy it, but we're just not adding to it. Then when evening comes and it's time for bed, we can just do another little mini cleanup and it's not like a whole house clean. Okay, so later on in the evening, we're gonna do the after dinner cleanup. This is probably when my house is the dirtiest just because it's had to survive all day long. Um, we've been cooking, we've been eating. So the very first thing I do after I get done with my dinner is I put my plate in the sink and I get to work. So I do not like keeping a dirty kitchen. I don't like dirty dishes being out. I like to just go ahead and tackle it real quickly and then we can enjoy the rest of the evening. I clean this space just like anything else. I just start by putting everything where it belongs. So the salt shakers, if we had like the butter out, um, I start putting all the dirty dishes in the sink so I can see what I have to work with. And then I can see if I, you know, missed any dirty dishes that I weren't noticing. Cause I don't know how many times I've like done the dishes and washed them by hand or like started the dishwasher. And then I look over and there's still a plate out or a pot that I missed. <laughs> and so I like to just throw everything in the sink so I can kind of see what I'm working with. With. And then I'm also going to be putting all the leftovers just into my containers and putting those in the refrigerator. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna work on is getting the dishwasher loaded and then I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. You're not gonna see me um, empty it in today's video, but we typically always do that right before bed or right when we first get up and we're eating breakfast. But Chase typically does this for me since I'm doing it throughout the day and working on a lot of other things. Um, he'll come in and have it unloaded for me just so I can keep all the other dishes in it and run it and then he kind of comes in and unloads it. So it's just kind of teamwork in the house right now. Um, so definitely just figure out a system and it's okay to ask for help. I feel like as moms we feel like we have to do everything but it's okay to say I need help. Can you unload this and I'll load it. Just kind of teamwork it. And then another chore that I like to do daily is to clean the sink. Now I like to do this throughout the day when possible. Sometimes it's hard to keep it nice and clean and dry, but at least once a day. And I like to do in the evening when we're done cooking and you're kind of like closing down the kitchen for the evening, but is the kitchen ever really closed? Who knows? But I like to go ahead and just use some soap and scrub it out. And then I like to use some type of Windex. I use my Jaws glass cleaner. Um, I've also been told to use my Jaws granite um, cleaner. Both of those work really good on your stainless steel sinks and it leaves them nice and shiny. There's something about like a nice shiny dried out kitchen sink. Definitely go to bed that way and you will love waking up to it. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna wipe down my countertops again. I warned you guys, <laughs> I like to wipe these down. I just don't know how you can. Like after we're done prepping and cooking or eating, there's always crumbs left out. I don't know, I, do, I like to rub my hand across countertops and not get like crumbs or sticky, gooey, anything on them. And we had had meatballs and you know, mashed potatoes. I don't know, I just feel like the countertops get super dirty while you're cooking. So I like to just go ahead and have a nice clean slate for when I wake up in the morning. So I feel like if you do all of these tasks just like as needed, as soon as you're done with something, take the time to clean it up. It's just a little burst of cleaning, five minutes here, 10 minutes there, maybe even two minutes of cleaning. But when you save it till the end of the day, you may spend an hour or two hours cleaning at night, getting the house reset versus just doing it as you go. So that's just kind of my theory. I clean as needed. I do the one touch rule. I make sure everything has a home and it's just always kept my house in order. I will say we're a smaller family, so I know that helps. It's just a family of three and Spanner's older and helps out. So all those little things kind of just set in place with routines will just really make your house clean um, without spending a whole lot of time. Okay, now we're gonna finish up the laundry. I'm gonna get my load out and then go ahead and fold and put it away. So like I said, we're gonna do this immediately. So now that it's done, I'm gonna put it in this basket. I'm gonna take it straight to my beauty room and I'm gonna go ahead and start folding it. That way it doesn't get left and I go get distracted doing something else. I just feel like, and I know you can't always do this, if, especially if you're a mama and you've got kids, but if you can stay focused on that one task versus like bouncing around from one thing to the next, that can be so exhausting and overwhelming. So pick your task, try not to start anything else until that task is done. Um, I'm really big into making a list for the day. I like to make it the evening before, just so I know what needs to get done. I can mark it off as I go. I'm not like trying to remember in my head, what did I need to clean today or what did I need to do? Um, paper and pen is my best friend making list. I have a weekly list, a monthly list. I have a video list. I have all sorts of lists but they really do just like free up space in your head, which I think we all need. Okay, so just like before, I'm done folding it. It immediately goes back in the basket and I'm gonna start putting all of it where it belongs. What's nice is since I just did my laundry, it all goes in this room so I can start hanging up all the things that need hangers. And then the rest of my things I keep in my bathroom. I know that's kind of weird, but I don't have a dresser in here um, and it just worked out best. Plus I like getting out of the shower and just having everything I need right there in those drawers. And I don't need those drawers for like beauty products because I have my vanity. So it just seemed to kind of work Work out and I'm not gonna lie if you guys have extra cabinet space like or not clear it out and keep your like you know undergarments in there and it's just so nice to be able to get out and have exactly what you need so when you see me putting away things in my bathroom that's why it just works for me <laughs> This is a little bit later in the evening, but now we're gonna vacuum the floors. I know it doesn't look late, but it stays bright out here until about 8.30 right now. Um, my little evening, like I call this my evening routine, I never start it at the same time. It just depends on the weather and if we're outside. Sometimes I don't start this till like 9, 9.30. Other times we're done for the day and I started around 5.30. So I just kind of go with the day. I really don't put times on my schedule. I just let it flow. But once I start the day, that's kind of like where the routines begin. So I like to go ahead and vacuum the floors in the evening. Now I do have my robo back, but I like to go ahead and use my vacuum just so if it missed any spots, plus that hasn't ran since the morning time and we've been in and out all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the floors nice and clean so then I can mop them before I go to bed. So you're gonna see that I'm vacuuming my rugs again. I do vacuum them to like two to three times a day. You know, we've got dogs coming in and out, we're in and out, and it's right here by our back door. Um, I don't know, I just like having a fresh clean slate, especially before I vacuum. So that's why I like to just do all the floors at the same time. Now 
now it's time to go ahead and mop the floors. I cannot go to bed unless these floors are like nice and sparkly. So I use my e-cloth mop. I tried to mention this in every video. Sorry if you've been around since the beginning, but I get so many questions about it. All you do is wet the mop head like this. I get it wet, I wring it out a little bit, and then it Velcros to the mop. All you need is water. Your floors are never sticky. They're always shiny. Yes, it's perfect for any type of floor. I use it on tile. I use it on engineered hardwood. They can do go on hardwood. I've had laminate before. Super, super impressed with this mop. I've had it for years. Like absolutely love this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these floors nice and shiny because it's such a great feeling to walk into a living room and it be spotless in the morning. Okay, I would love to hear down below in the description box if there's something you saw on today's video that you're gonna implement into your daily routine. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely subscribe. I post here twice a week. I post over on our vlog channel as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.